he has made friends with that lady. Uh oh. He went and became it. Getting everything ready? You always got to have the drone. I need to upgrade that one day. Who remembers that tour? I don't remember who it was with. I lost like four drones. Do you remember that? It was Atlanta, Texas, Reno. I don't remember the other one. Maybe it was three, not four. I remember having to sneak one in order so Ali wouldn't get upset. That was that was the time. Now is the time to get everything yeah, packed. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome to my car crib. Hey, you ready to go? She said, don't tempt me with a good time. Can you hide? Want to play hide and go seek? Say, Dad, you already lost. You're a horrible hider. I guess it's a good thing. Let's take that as a, as a, a blessing. We were going to take the white car, but we realized afterward that this might be more of a smarter situation because we have this giant backpack that doesn't really like collapsing, which is kind of, it probably does. I just don't know how to do it. And the nice thing is, is no that room. if we end up wanting to kind of like take rest in certain spots or whatever, one, there's this whole area back here. We can move this stuff up front. Or two, in the back. or two, these actually recline, recline completely back. So everybody we, can really get some We would have rest. to move these forward then. Well, if anything, it would, it's just like three suitcases and then this, and we'd have to just put those in the front seat and that would be it. Yeah, but it wouldn't be that hard. Yeah, this is gonna be fun, right? You yeah. gonna have fun? So I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring like, um, I think I'm just gonna bring like two pillows maybe. Remy's been asking over and over to go see mountains. She's a cat. And she's a cat know. lately, I don't know. These are either dogs, cats, I'm glad she's not a cow. That'd be really oh, weird. Her, her... Did you see the thing I sent you on Instagram? No. I said, the, this is, I said, this is one of the biggest reasons why I want a cow, because I blocked they, you. cows do zoomies. They like, do what? Like zoomies, kind of like dogs. Like it was like so excited and running, oh. it was so cute. I don't even know what a zoomie is. A zoomie where dogs like run and zoom around the yard. Cows Marley do would do it all the time. That's you what know? cows do? Cows like, uh, it's just, just watch your Instagram story that I sent to you. Really? You want to sleep with sheep? Sheep is one. Yeah? Sheep is one. So, Remy, do you want to see mountains and animals and zoos? You gonna come through? Come on, baby. Waterfalls. Okay, hold on. Please, sir. Please tell me what you just asked. I said, is the stuff out of the dryer so I can do my laundry? No, he did not ask it that way. He goes, first off, he goes, he said, if you want, I can pack your stuff. And he goes, well, is my stuff in the washer? That's and I said, an I said, I said, I said, no. Did you put it in there? And he's like, did you take the stuff out of the washing machine? No, because you have two very capable hands that could remove the stuff from the washing machine into the dryer. I guess I won't be packing your stuff. I was trying to be nice. Come on, Dave. Come on, bud. We are packing, getting the car packed up, getting everything prepped and ready to go. We initially thought we were going to leave like really, really late tonight, but we decided it's probably going to be better to leave right after Remy eats, has a bath, does her whole like bedtime routine, and then gets into the car. And we'll get her into the car and she can go to sleep, and then it'll just probably be a lot easier of a transition, and maybe she'll sleep through the night. And then we're not as rushed to get there tomorrow, and we can kind of take our time. We can stop and take longer naps than 30 minutes, and we can um, actually probably get some sleep on the road. Some people might think that's like a really strange decision, but honestly, after doing this for so long, we finally, we think, finally are kind of like getting a hang of how we need to leave and how, what's the best time to leave and what we need and what we don't need. I think it's gonna be one of our most successful traveling by vehicle trips that we've had in a really long time. Yes, see this? Big mess, but what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna fold all this, put it away, and then we're done with our laundry, right, Diesel, Diesel? Diesel's actually gonna be going to Cece's. He's gonna be spending time with his cousins this week. I think we're not gonna take him this time is because his little back end is kind of having some trouble with it being so cold and wet, potentially. I just don't know if it's gonna be the best for him right now, but don't worry, buddy. We're gonna be going on an RV trip soon, and it's gonna be fun, right? Boy, good boy. I'll call you every day, swear, swear, swear. All right, you got my suitcase from my best friend from high school, from uh, Mr. M. Night Shyamalan. He sent that to me. We're gonna use it for the first time. All right, kick it back this way.
don't think the kitty will fit. No, don't do that. You'll forget where it is and you'll be upset. I can't remember where all your little hidden spots are. All right, let's go get the camera stuff already. Hey, are you packed? Remy, are you packed? Yeah. You sure? I'll be back and see what back. Okay, good job. Thanks. Appreciate it. Are you ready? Ready. Where, where'd you do with my shoes? What are you doing with my knee? There's my shoes. You took them somewhere. Game plan right now is to finish up the few black t-shirts that I need to travel anywhere. Feed this little turkey. Feed the child. And then we're gonna eat, we're gonna take a shower, and then we're gonna probably bail uh, in the next couple hours actually. Gonna do it early. I'll drive first and when I get tired, we'll like switch on and then when Ali gets tired, we'll probably just stop for a while. The goal is to just get through Atlanta so we don't have to hit Atlanta traffic. That's the game plan. And because we don't have to be there until 4.30 tomorrow uh, or the day you're watching this now. You got it? Yeah. So you got two suitcases out here. Is this for your shoes? And is this for your toys? Is that what's going on? Toys. And I get stuffed into this little thing as I normally do. It's my tour bag. The reason why we're doing this is because of the fact that we don't want to rush. There are typical things like an RV stuff. We rush, 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 rush. The next RV trip we're doing, we're just not gonna do that. Every time we do any form of trips, we feel like we have to take full advantage and do everything. However, the second we get halfway through, it's like tour, you feel so burned out, and we just wanna go home. We don't wanna do that with the things we do. So now we have a lot of extra time. I actually called ahead to the hotel and said, hey, do you have early check-in? And they do. I told Allie, when the band goes and we do all this stuff, like when college shows, you know, we often get there like eight in the morning, nine in the morning, and we have no hotel because of that stuff. stuff. So what we do, and it, you guys are probably gonna judge us, but we think it's hilarious, is that they're like, oh, we can't bring you in. And it's not that they can't, it's that they won't let you check in, because we know they're all like clean and stuff. So what we have to do, and sometimes we don't do it necessarily on purpose, it's just what ends up happening, is that we all start just like changing and get ready for the show in the lobby. And if coincidentally, once we start doing that, all the rooms seem to open up, all at once. We're not gonna be disrespectful. No, it's not disrespect, it's fun, it's funny. I think it's funny. We're not okay. going to be disrespectful. I, I, won't, I won't treat this like a, a We The King tour. Yeah, thank you, because um, this is a wonderful opportunity. So. No, this will be fun. Remy will go on a We The King tour one day. We The Kings has 12 kids. Travis has nine of them. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no I guess we need to have one more baby. We gotta get a lucky... We have to at least have two. Well, then we have the unlucky 13. You have to have two to get to 14. No. Even numbers. Just turn. imagine if we had twin Remy's. Let's do this, Remy. Ready? One, two, three. Let's do it. Let's do one. Let's do one, two. Let's do one, two. We let, and uh, we won. It went 409, and we're like, oh, maybe we'll get it cheaper. Then it went to 396. And we're like, oh, we'll get it cheaper. Then went to 395. Oh, we'll get it cheaper. Now 394. We won. We won this round. Right, Ram? We won. Let's get it before they change the. Uh, okay, good. It's not the. Uh, hate when they do like 390 something and then. Uh, but if you use a credit, it's $4,000 more. That's my question. Has anyone ever paid for gas with cash? Like cash? I don't think that really honestly exists. I got paid for it though. <laughs> you guys got me distracted. We have pulled over at the Georgia uh, Visitor Center and Allie has befriended a little kitten. I should say a kitten has befriended her. So she went and got some bacon, something, I don't know. Here's our little buddy. He went in the gate. He went and became it. 
He went in the grate. We are going to take a nice little... Did you find another one? <sighs> we're not getting another cat. Yeah, that cat's playing or I think. But yeah, we're here. We got five and a half hours left still. We're gonna take a little nap. This is one thing that sucks about not traveling in the RV. I'm a little jealous of all those RVs over there. You can just pull the bed down and you're fine. Right now we're gonna like crunch up. A little sleep. Huh? It's thirsty. Yeah, I was drinking the water. Good. All right, so we'll see you guys tomorrow.